is Sandro Catanzaro. I, I, I head analytics and innovation for DataZoo. And what we do at DataZoo is help uh, marketers uh, reach their consumers in a most efficient way and also gather data as they reach consumers to analyze the consumer behavior. Uh, we do that uh, using leveraging tools such as big data and the newest techno digital technologies to enable to create those insights in near real time. So as a difference, back in the past when an advertiser, a marketer wanted to learn about the newest trends in the market, they will have some focus group, some survey, and those, takes, those take many days to actually create results and provide the insight. Nowadays, they can have insight the next day. And at the same time, while they use our technology, back in the day, they will create a plan, mostly by hand. Nowadays, with our technology, it's completely automated, and they can save between 20 and 30% of the market investment. For example, uh, a large telecom company in the UK, uh, we have offices in Europe and here in the US, this telecom company in the UK is using our technology and they have uh, realized that by doing, following the advice and the insight out of the platform, they can save uh, about uh, 14 million pounds in investments or they can create uh, 100,000 more customers in a year, which is pretty impressive. The company was established in 2007. So the origins of the company is technology we develop at MIT uh, within the aeronautics and astronautics department. Uh, and what we did back then was help NASA to understand what was the best way to get to Mars with humans safely and bring them back. In 2007, we incorporated the company. In, during the, the last part of 2007 and 2008, we refined the value proposition. We got funded Series A in 2009, and we opened our uh, initial first office in London in 2010. And by 2011, we have offices in five different cities in the US and five cities in Europe. Uh, nowadays, we are 320 people. Uh, we have clients uh, in Europe, here in the US, and we just uh, a year and a half ago opened the Singapore office for the APAC area. What we really like is that we uh, have the opportunity to work with many blue chip companies. We're talking the likes of Ford, uh, General Mills, uh, Lexus, to help them realize their goals and to co-innovate with them. So many of the newest ideas we have that have been applied in the platform come from needs, business needs from our customers that we try to adapt the platform to address and that has created many of the, new, the new, newest products we have. Most of my life in the past, my background has always been in entrepreneurship. So this is in fact for me um, startup number six. Uh, I, for a short period of time, worked for a larger company. Uh, I was doing management consulting for Bain & Company. But most of my life, uh, it was bringing something from the napkin to the big company. Uh, and I like that type of challenge. I have always been linked to entrepreneurship. And at some point, I thought, OK, I mean, my background is mechanical engineering. That's my undergrad. But my take formation in management wasn't as strong. So I thought, OK, I'll, I'll try to get some more business formation, management formation. And I came to study to, to the business school, Sloan. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a mixed in, uh, degree between the engineering school and the Sloan school. is the SDM program, System Design and Management. And as I was doing that, I also started taking courses in the aeronautics and astronautics department. And eventually got a second master's from the aeroastro department. And back in the day, I thought, hey, I'm coming to MIT to get a business formation. And in some ways, astronautics was an indulgence, was a, a bit something I was doing for, because it was fun. I didn't realize at that point that it was that that was going to be the basis for this wonderful business we have created. It's the com MIT, the combination between the best management and the best science is what makes it truly, truly special. That you have people who are super smart in the science, but also super smart in management. And they can together bring to life a value proposition that is very scientifically sound, but also makes a lot of sense in terms of business. So that makes the whole difference for me.